First Chronicles chapter 12. Verse 28 to 32. Tena sadoki kijana shujaa wa nyumba ya babaye makida 22 na wana wa Benyamini na nduguze Sauli 1300 kwani hata sasa walio wengi wao walikuwa wameuhifadhi kwa mifu wao kwa nyumba ya Sauli na wana wa Ephraim 201800 na waume shujaa watu wenye sifa katika mbali za babao za baba zao na nusu ya kabila ya Manase 18000 waliotajwa kwa majina yao ili waweze kumtawaza Daudi awe mfalme na wana wa Iskari watu wenye akili za kujua nyakati kuyajua ya wapasayo Israeli wayatende vichwa vyao walikuwa watu 200 ndugu zao wote walikuwa chini ya amri yao quickly let's go to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 Halaka tuende katika Efeso sura ya 5 mstari wa 15. Ephesians chapter 5 wa Efeso sura ya 5 verse 15 and 16. Mstari wa 15 na 16. Basi angalieni mnavyoenenda si kama watu wasio na hekima bali kama watu wenye hekima. Mkiukomboa wakati kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Let's pray once again. Hebu na tuombe mara nyingine tena. Blessed Savior for eternity. Mbarikiwa mwokozi wa milele. We want to say thank you for who you are. Tunataka tuseme asante kwa vile ulivyo. As we are approaching your throne. Tunapokaribia kiti chako cha enzi. Even the throne of mercy. Hata kiti hiki cha we want to decrease that your Lord may increase. For we realize that we are sinners. And without you, Lord, we are nothing. We have just read your word which was inspired by your spirit and no man under the sun who is able to interpret them. May you release the same spirit that was upon the writers of the Bible Amen. be upon me together with my interpret that we may deliver what you want your children to hear today for it's only your word which can give us life every word of man is death I refuse to bring out my own words in the name of Jesus. Help us together as we approach your Father, your throne. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every saint say, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. How many are happy again today to be in the house of God? Because God wants us to be in, in His presence. David says, Blessed is He. He's always in the secret places of the Lord. Because you are protected to be in the presence of God. The devil will mess up with you. Even if he may be among us. That is the truth. In every gathering, the devil is also there. And this should be our challenge. If the devil does not abscond himself from every fellowship of the saints of the living God, how much more you and me? Yes. It's a shame thing. Because every fellowship 
is made for sons and daughters of the living God. And the devil knows that. That's why he always is in the fellowship. To my surprise, you find that sons and daughters of the living God they decided to stay home to abscond themselves from the fellowship. Yet the there. Now, Shetan is there. Because Shetan is there. You see? You see? You see? So let's wake up. Uh, yesterday I introduced the message I want to share with you. So that we see what time we are in the church. Yes. 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 It's very very important to understand the time. Ni muhimu sana kujua wakati. Because if we don't understand, kwa sababu kama hatutambui, it will be difficult for you and me to redeem it. Itakuwa ni vigumu kwangu mimi na wewe kuukomboa. First of all we must understand. Jambo la kwanza lazima tu we understand something. Ndipo unapoelewa jambo fulani that's when you can know what to do about it hapo ndipo unaweza kujua utfanye nini kuhusiana nalo the whole world dunia yote today leo is learning at 80% of christians ina karibia asilimia 80% ya wakristo so called christians wale wanaojiita wakristo yet lakini hata hivyo they don't know hata hawajui the will of god mapenzi ya Mungu for it's not about worshiping the living god kwa sababu si haihusu tu kumwabudu Mungu wa Ishaq it's not about worshiping the god of Abraham Isaac and Jacob sio tu kumwabudu Mungu wa Ibrahimu Isaka na Yakobo it's not about worshiping the god of Paul and Brenham sio kumwabudu tu Mungu wa Paulo na Branham is about knowing his will ni kujua mapenzi yake So we must not be mistaken. And be proud for nothing. For us to be the message believer of the hour. We must not deceive ourselves. Just because we have got the prophet. Yes, it's a good thing. Hata hivyo bado ni jambo jema. But it's not enough. enough for you and me. Kwa ngu mimi na wewe. To be the candidate of rapture. Kuwa watahiniwa wa unyakuo. Or is about understanding. Yote inahusu ufahamu. The disciple of the Lord of Jesus Christ. Wale wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo. They walked with the Lord for three years. Walitembea na Kristo kwa miaka mitatu. Hata hivyo hawakumjua. Yeah, they did not know him. Hata hivyo hawakumjua. We can lead the messages of the prophet. Tunaweza tukasoma jumbe za nabii. We can claim to be the believers of the message. Tunaweza tukadai kuwa waamini wa ujumbe. Yeah, we don't know the message. Lakini hata hivyo hatujui ujumbe. It's possible. Inawezekana. It's something that we don't know. Kuhubiri jambo fulani sio lijua. Inawezekana. It's something we don't understand. Kuna kitu ambacho huelewi. Possible. Inawezekana. Bend our resources. Kutumia kutumia mbinguni zote na nguvu zetu zote thing we don't know juu ya kitu tusichokijua it is biblical ni ya kibiblia the pharisees wa farisayo they had a might prophet walikuwa na nabii mkuu the introducer of the law yule mtambulishaji wa bwana wa sheria moses musa used to speak to with god alikuwa akiongea na mungu he brought the word to the children of israel alileta neno kwa wana wa israel na mambo mengi kutoka kwa Mungu and the Pharisees na Pharisayo believed Moses waliwamini Musa up to now mpaka leo Jews wale Wayahudi they are they are still believers of Moses baada ni waamini wa Musa they believe Moses wanaamini Musa and they studied the word of Moses na wamesoma neno la Musa to the extent kwa umbali kwamba to challenge the son God kuweza kumpa changamoto Mungu ndiye yule Yet they did 
denied him. And they challenged him. Now come sign. Using the same way. What it will mean and then it is happening in the message. Hundred 
According to the prophet, he said the absolute is the Bible. That says the Lord. But these staying things, living things on that. It's not complete. It's not complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, the absolute the Bible. But living things like that. Like have the long understanding. Amen. And the interpretation will be long. And your teaching will be long. Before you know it, you begin to contradict with the message. Do you know why today? The elderly believers, they only believe in one prophet. But me, I don't believe in one prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe in you, the prophet of God. Because the church of the living God, according to Ephesians 2.20, it is a belt on the foundation of the apostle and the prophet and the Christ being the chief cornerstone so that's why I believe in all the prophets Let me background before I go to the main point. Because I don't want to waste much of the time today. Just want to hit the nail on the head. Then I'll conclude. And leave the Holy Spirit to control me inside into our lives. You know, I said, redeeming the time. And we have to understand face the time that we need to redeem. I did mention yesterday that our God is not in time. It's outside time. For it's eternal. In eternity there is no time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God stepped into time after man sinned. So from the uh, from Genesis to Revelation, this is the timetable of God. It's the calendar of God. Ni calendar ya Mungu. Like my fellow minister say, kama mtumishi mwenzangu alivyosema, God is the great mathematician. Mungu ni mwana wa hesabu mkuu. The mathematics of God. Zile hesabu za Mungu. And the calendar of God. Na calendar ya Mungu. Is the Bible. Ni Biblia. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The calendar of God is the Bible. Now, the calendar And every time, God speaks something. To every given time. There is the word of, of God for that time. In the garden of heaven. And that time. Kwa 
that was the message of that day. That was the word. Not that day. And the church of that day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they disobeyed, God killed and brought judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why up to today, we cry, we suffer, we get sick. That's the judgment of God. He judged that, he judged on the weight of that day. This is why you know you are blessed people. But the way we behave, we behave like slaves. Yes. And I don't blame you. It's the spirit. Man dies. But but the spirit die. The children of Israel one day they cry. That we suffer as slaves. We pay for our own work. Our slaves are leading us. Yet we are prince and princesses. It 
cannot become an object. Kama haiwezi kuwa kitu halisi. Amina. Because God kwa sababu Mungu is an object of worship. Ni kitu cha kuabudiwa. So this great eternal spirit. Kwa hilo kuu ya milele. The spirit is not an object. Roho si kitu halisi. Amen. So he decided to become a man. Kwa aliam aliamua kuwa mtu. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the first man na mtu wa kwanza was a theophan man. Alikuwa mtu wa theophania. Amina. Yes. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then Nipo, he created a physical man. Nipo akaumba mtu wa kimwili in his own image. Kwa sura yake mwenyewe. Then this physical man, Nipo huyu mtu wa wa kawaida, akafanya dhambi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he decided to redeem him. Nipo akaamua kumkomboa. The law of redemption. Kwa sheria ya ukombozi, it's only the next king that is have got the power to redeem. Ni ya, ni, ni yule jambo wa karibu aliye na nguvu ya kukomboa. This is why he your sababu my prophet na bii wangu bring the mercy. Ali bii jumbe. And the call kwa wito the deep calls for the deep. Yes. 
So in the time of Moses, Pamusa, that time, wakati ule, that was the way. Okay, before we go there, oh, I'll skip to one point. Nime, vuka point the time of Noah, wakati wa nuhu, the day of Noah, siku za nuhu, that day, siku zine, God gave them the word Mungu neno, to build the ark. Kuchenga safina. It doesn't matter. Even if you are a polygamist, even if you are a fornicator, even if you are a drunkard, or what you're supposed to do in that day, it just to enter into the earth and call your polygamist with all your lies, with all your Then after you brought out all my transgressions, you 
what the Bible says a yoke yoke when you put a yoke on two oxen when they start moving they are pulling the same burden if it is a plow then, then are the two cows we putting the plow. If it is the ox cart, the two cows we pulling the ox cart. But the same ox cow, they can mingle with other cows who are not trained to do those things. They can even eat together but they are not in the same yoke. So don't be yoke together with an unbeliever. Because all of you, your students are not Amen. You can be with them. Do what they are doing. So that your life, your life, can affect them. Sometimes you don't need to tell them. There was a man that came to tell the prophet that I've believed not because of the path message you preach because of the behavior of this because of the behavior of this I want to see the God that has changed the sister and my God You see why we have not impact in the community? Because we behave like slaves. Because we behave like kings. Because a king is a leader. And the leader is to lead. So that others follow. If you are a princess, if you are a princess, How many souls are you influencing at your school? How many people are following you in the neighborhood? At your place. When you are there, that's how we behave. We behave like dogs. You know how dogs behave? Those, time, those days of self trades one of the prince Moja, wa wana wa mfalme, was taken to America to do the work of slavery. America kufanya kazi kama now, because she he knows where I came from. Kule 
I am the prince. Mimi, if I had to go back, I will come on the throne of my father. So when he was there, he was doing something different. From the rest of the slaves. Amen. And one day the master asked him. Why do you be like this? He says, where I came from, I am the priest. Yes. Even if we are in this world, even if we are in this world, even if we are in this world, we are not of this world. Where we came from, my father, is the king of kings. The problem Shida. is failure to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why our friends, the SDA, the SDA, they're still living the time of Moses. They are backwards. What can you do? 2,000 plus plus years. And they are living in that day of keeping the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know why? Because of their understanding of the scriptures. And their understanding is long and the interpretation is wrong then the doctrine is wrong here comes the Lord of the Lord he said I have not come to destroy the law but to fulfill it the word fulfillment is his completion amen it's not to polish. Si ku tia msasa. But to complete. Lakini kumalizia. So the law was not complete. Ko sheria iko haijamalizika. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when he came, ko alipokuja, he came to complete it. Alikuja kuimaliza. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I used to to to, to complete that. This pastor is taking everything in my thoughts. When I talk about the shadow of a human being, but thank God he did not bring it the way I want to bring it. Because it's not his grace. It's not his grace, it's not my grace. I'll bring it according to the grace God has brought Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. If the sun is this side, if the sun is this side, my shadow is going to be where? Then there is somebody there. It's going to see who? the shadow of who? The shadow. Then you'll be looking on the shadow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then when I appear, this focus. His focus is going to be where? When he changes the focus, is it that he has denied the shadow? No. He's going to have the full understanding. So the shadow there is not going to show the color of the suit that I'm wearing. It will only show the shadow. The image of Kuria. When I appear, every, every detail in me will be revealed to that person. Even when he has appeared, he is still focusing on the shadow. That's why we cannot understand who God is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Because the shadow will not tell you that the man behind the shadow is a male or female. Because the shadow of a man and the shadow of a woman they appear the same. Not until a person appears. That's when you can do know and understand. Amen. Amen. They are living Amen. in the days of Moses. <laughs> they are still living in the time of the Jew. Yet God has moved. God is still on the move. Amen. God is still on the move. Amen. So we must keep on moving. God is still working. So we must keep on working. There's no time for rest. The reason why God rested on the seventh day was in download days. All his nature in Adam. He went and sit restless. Then Adam, Nipo Adam continued with his creation. Do you know that Adam was a creator? Do you know that? Because God did not complete the creation. The one who completed the creation it was Adam. Is this Cape Stone? They took a tent. Then they took these pillars. And they mount. Now without these pillars, the Cape Stone stand. So according to the wisdom of God, who for New your day and my day.
Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo died for three days. Alikufa kwa siku tatu. Isaac. Isaac. In the mind of Abraham. Katika katika nia ya Ibrahim was dead for three days. Alikuwa amekufa siku tatu. My Bible tells me so. is a separation is a total separation if you want to worship come and take kwa budu you have to leave certain things lazima uache mambo mengine nyuma then you go alone nipo wewe peke yako amen alone with god peke yako na mungu amen when they reach there when they fika pale isaac is there isaka akafufuka in the mind of abraham katika nia ya ibrahim for three days kwa siku Isaac was counted dead. Isaac alikuwa anahesabika kama amekufa. Lakini siku ile Isaac akafufuka. Amen. The mathematics of God. The sabu za Mungu. Oh oh. He moved from there. Alitembea kutoka pale. Another further step. Hatua nyingine zaidi because God is completed in three. Kwa sababu Mungu anakamilika katika tatu. Number three. Na, t- number tatu. Is the number of God. Ni namba ya Mungu. He stepped into Jacob. Akaingia kwa Yakobo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jacob was stepping in the Holy Ghost. Yakobo ana 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 anatoa mfano wa Roho Mtakatifu. The promise was made to Abraham. Kwa sababu ahadi ifanywe kwa Ibrahim. And he carried on by the uh, uh, Isaac. Na ika ika bekwa na Isaac. What was the promise? Isaac e, ahadi ilikuwa ni nini? I shall bless you Abraham. Nitakubariki Abraham and your offspring. Na uzao wako shall be blessed. Utabarikiwa upon all nations on earth. Juu ya mataifa yote duniani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shall build up my church. Nitajenga kanisa langu. And the gates of hell. Na malango ya kuzimu. Never prevail. Hayata nishinda. Against it. Ko hata hata ikiwa dhidi yake. We are behaving the same way. Lakini tunajaribisha kama hivyo ile. Kama vile vile wana Israeli walivyojaribisha. The promise. Wewe wana ahadi. Whom God promised through the Father. God promised through the Father. Kwa sababu aliwaahidi kupitia uhai wa Israeli. We have the promise. Tunayohadi. Upon this lock. Juu ya baba huu. The lock of the revelation. Mambo of furuo. You know who the son of man. Kujua mwana wa Adamu ni nani? Who the true God is? Kujua Mungu wa kweli ni nani? This revelation. Huu furuo. He's building up his church. Una anajenga kanisa lake. Church. Na kanisa yake. Has to prevail. Lazima isiwe. Yes, so powers of darkness. Yes, do you have to go set as a Jesus. But it's not so. Lakini haiko hivyo. Why? We have embraced the same spirit. Tumekubatia roho ile ile. That clip the hero. Ambayo iwafanye vilema wa Israeli Israel. We behave like slaves. Tumejiadibisha kama watumwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know that? Najua hivyo. God did not left the world. Mungu hakuacha ulimwengu in the hand of politicians. Katika mikono ya wana siasa. Yes. God left. Mungu aliacha ulimwengu. The world in the hand of the church katika mikono ya kanisa amen this is the word of god hili ni neno la mungu have you read jeme isoma a city built up on the hill kwamba kuna mji umejengwa juu ya mlima and you are the light of the world na ninyi ni nuru ya ulimwengu so if you are the light of the world kwa kama ni nuru ya ulimwengu to influence the world lazima mshawishi ulimwengu politics to influence the church si wana siasa wa shawishi kanisa what is happening is contrary lakini Is it not so? Yes, if you. I don't know here in Tanzania. Si juu hapa Tanzania. Where I'm coming from Zambia. Lakini kule kutoka Zambia. Some Zambians are crying. Sa wakati huu wa Zambia wanalia. In the church are crying. Hata kanisa linalia. Believers are crying. Waamini wanalia. A dollar is not okay. Kwamba dola si haiko vizuri. God does it no dollar. Mungu hajui dola. Yes. Amen. If God knows dollar. Kama Mungu anajua dola. Sisa tu bijoma jaira. Nipo aliacha ameacha kuwa jaoma jire. In the wilderness. Kule jangwa. Hapa kukupo na mashamba. Hapa kukupo na 
It's the lack of the understanding. Before I finish, you understand. Together we begin to be able to understand. So God moved to Jacob. Jacob was of sons who formed the nation Israel. Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus when he came, yes, it was the twelve. Then for the twelve, he went for the Holy Ghost. Yes, the church was born. The church of Dil was born. So the church is moved by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's the spirit that begin to divide the gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say this. I've moved from the fivefold ministry. I'm talking about now the church. The fivefold ministry. These are the gift and the calling of God. Are without repentance. I can have one of the fivefold ministry. And I can save God. Yet I'm still a sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fivefold ministry. Are the gift and calling without repentance. But the gift of the Holy Ghost is only for a repentant soul. The gift of the Holy Ghost are only for a repentant soul. And the fivefold means they are not exception. Now, if I am one of the fivefold men, then I deny to have one of the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. Then I open a wide door to be anointed by the devil. Amen. Amen. So the nine gifts the power are not only for the church yeah. are also for all of us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of us we need it. Saturday Why? Kwani? To position each one upon his position. Kumweka kila moja kwenye nafasi yake. So my brother, my sister. Kondugu yangu, dada yangu. If you don't have the Holy Ghost. Kama huna roo mtakatifu. You have not started serving God. Huja anza kumtumikia mungu. You can never serve God. Uwezi kumtumikia mungu. Without having the Holy Ghost. Bia kuwa na roo mtakatifu. Then if you are serving God. Na nipo kama na mtumikia mungu. Ooh. 
kuvu like a shadow and it cannot stand na anatembea kama kivuli hawezi kutumwa not like a flower na ana kauka kama ua when the sun scorched him wakati jua linapoyuakia for this man Na kuzaliwa pia si kupokea tu ubatizo wa kweli wa maji. Kwa sababu Jesus has stood me God Dima. Kwa sababu Yesu Kristo alimwambia ni God Dima. Why not that I tell you that you must be born again? Una usishangae nilivyokuambia lazima uzaliwe upya. No one can see the kingdom of God. Hakuna awezaye kuona ufalme wa Mungu unless he's born of water and of the Holy Ghost. Kwa sababu anazaliwa kwa maji na kwa roho mtakatifu. If you've been baptized in water is to be baptized in the holy ghost. Ni kubatizwa katika roho mtakatifu. Without the holy ghost. Bila roho mtakatifu. Whatever you do. Chochote unachofanya. You are doing it in vain. Unafanya bure. Because you are still outside the will of God. Kwa sababu bado uko nje ya mapenzi ya Mungu. Because his will. Kwa sababu mapenzi yake. You and me. Ni kwa ajili yako wewe na mimi. Sons and daughters. Kwa wana na binti za Mungu. When you are sons and daughters of God. Lakini tunapokuwa wana binti za Mungu. Who are you? Wewe ni nani? Is you a son of God who are you? Kama ni mwana wa Mungu wewe nani? Ah, Mungu na wote. Hicho ndio nitataka. If you are a daughter of God you are. Kama wewe ni binti wa Mungu wewe ni Mungu. Who teaches a chick? Nani anamfundisha kifaranga to start scratching on the ground? Kwanza kuchakura kwenye 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 I know you you Mungu. say the mother. Unasema mama. Hapana. It's the next. Ni asili. Amen. Utije somebody to repent. Nani anamfundisha mtu mwingine kutubu? Ni asili. So people without that nature. Watu wenye hiyo asili. If they are convinced. Hata kama wameshaushika. That they are living in sin. Kwamba wanaishi katika dhambi. Because they are not signs or daughter of God. Ni kwa sababu si wana na binti. That nature of humility. Ile asili ya utu is not in them. Haiko ndani yao. Not repent. How was it could do book? So repentance is the nature of God. Why? What is you realize that I don't belong there? Why can you stick on the place which is not yours? Then you are confused. When you realize that the prodigal son. Kwa sababu ya muda moja ni Moses 
nimemaliza wakati wa Musa also skip the time of Lot nitaacha wakati wa Musa na wakati wa Mm, Let remove in the time of John the Baptist. Eh, wa, wa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the message that we believe in did not come with Branham. It was prophesied by the prophets of the old. So when we talk about the end time message, we are not talking about the sermon of the prophet. Because of confused people, with their confused understanding, the message of the hour is not the sermons of the prophet. Sermons of the prophet. They carried single content of the message of the end. Of the end time message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was the message? What was the end time message? It was first preached by John the Baptist. What did he preach for you along the Jordan River? Repent for the kingdom of God. Is at time. Repent for the kingdom of God. Is at time. The axe is cut every tree without fruits he was talking of judgment Yes, we need to repent because judgment is around the corner then the second man to preach the end time was the Lord himself after being baptized like the the first preacher said he was announced and he was introduced after being introduced he was taken up in the, by the spirit into the world to be tempted by the devil Why? Why? it was difficult for him to lose you and me without defeating the man who has held us captive so he went first into the wilderness to contend with the devil to make sure that the devil is defeated and he came up to deliver you and me and when he came the first sermon of the Lord was to repent to the kingdom of God is Amen. Now, because God knew Oswald, God knew you, God knew me, God knew me. in His plan, He gave us Malachi. Hallelujah. Because the first end time message was only preached to the Jews. Jews, he feared to be accused by Abraham. Because God made eternal covenant with Abraham. That through you, Abraham, through your sins, God's nation of the earth shall be saved. So he considered. The nation Israel the nation Israel was formed from one man produced the twelve fathers became the nation of Israel became the church of the living God but the bright church is coming out of
Greater works you do. Amen. Greater works you do. Kazi kubwa mtazifanya. Amen. If you believe in me. Kama mtuniamini mimi. Why? Kwa nini? Because we've been given power. Kwa sababu utapewa nguvu. You know, servants of God. Amen. I always bleed. And I see how the devil has crept the church already. You must be annoyed. Be like David. Be like David. To be annoyed against the devil. How can this variety fall the nation of God? According to joy. And quoted by Peter. We are not drunk. This is what has been prophesied. By the prophet Joel. In the last day. I shall pour out my spirit. I shall pour out my spirit. Now get me clearly there. Being anointed and being baptized in the Holy Ghost are two different things. Amen. We can be all anointed. You cannot all be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Because anointing falls like an end. And laying does not only lay on lies um, um, tu, does not only fall on Muchel. I, 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 I yes to you, Muchel. Does not only fall. I, I yes to you, yeah. On Indizi. Yeah, Indizi peke yake. It falls also fall. Ina yes apia. On Thorn. Ju ya miba. Both they receive the same land. What they wanna pack them for in there? But by their fruits. Lakini kwamba tunda ya. But by their fruits. Kwamba tunda ya. You 
shall know them. The Bible says the fruit of the spirit. Not the fruits. See matunda. The fruit. Tunda. Then it says ah. The fruit of the spirit ah. Now it says tunda for the love of me. So those who study English. What are now some mundo what Kingereza? That's why the language in the Bible they say it's a broken English. How can the Bible say the, the fruit of the spirit are? This guy the Bible says, "Tunda la robo ni ningi ani manja ni." Hallelujah. It's the mathematician of God. In a touch, my sabu ya mungu. The way he was summing up the equation. Zile aliyokuwa anamalizia zile equation. Matthew twenty four. Matayo shirina nne. Is not in Matthew twenty four. Si Matayo shirina nne. Is two plus four is equal six. Ni mi kujumisha nne ni sita. And the number six is the number of tradition. Na number sita ni number ya 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 ziki. Four plus seven. Na nne kujumisha sita. Is not forty seven. Si arwana saba. Is eleven. Ni kumina moja. The eleventh hour. Ni evans. Ni wa 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 fanya kazi osa kumina moja. So when the Bible says. The fruit of the spirit. 
what comes first is the shell is now explaining the parts of the fruit. Because the fruit of God is love. Love is like an orange. It's not like any other fruit. And it has got eight pieces inside but the shell is love no one can challenge me that he has love yet he has no joy no one can challenge me that he has love yet he has no patience no one can challenge me that he has love but he has no long suffering no one can challenge me that he has love yet he has no patience without faith no one can challenge me that he has love amen Without all those pieces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shall know them by their fruits. Now you can produce this fruit. Yes, it is not a law. This is why I love the Apostle Paul. Many, many people today. What to when you when they are confused by the sermon of this man. You know why? Just like the way people in the time of Paul used to get confused. And the prophet says, I've preached exactly like Paul. His brother Branham preached exactly like Paul. We need to be careful. Because the recommendation of Peter to Paul. The time we are living in. The prophet told us. God showed him the third pool. The first pool, the second pool. 
Mvuto wa kwanza mvuto wa pili. And the third pool. Na ule mvuto wa tatu. The third pool was not completed. Completed by him. Na mvuto wa tatu wa kumalizwa na yeye. God just showed him the eclipse. Mungu alimuonyesha tu vionjo. Wa mvuto wa tatu. It's you and me. Mimi ni na wewe. Amen. Now what was in the third pool? Power to create. Glory. And the angel speak to him. Na malaika kumambi. What do you want? Unataka ni? I want to see Israel. Na sio unataka kundi watatu. But I've moved all the way. I've not ever seen Israel. Lakini yatembea kote siona kundi. He said just speak. Akasema wewe nena tu. Naka nena. Israel appeared. Na yule kisho. Na na yule kijia akatokea akampiga risasi. Another again he spoke. Na yule mwingine akamnena. Israel appeared. Yule kijia akatokea. Akampiga risasi. The time we are living now. Na wakati tunaoishi sasa. Is the change of the living God? Mikanisa na mungu ashi. The bride. Move into the thing. Kutembe na kuingia kwenye vuto wa tatu. To raise the laughter in faith. Kupata kuinua mungu ya kuyakuliwa imani ya kuyakuliwa. Amen. Because if God has to sum the last trumpet today. Kama mungu akipiga baragumi ya mshule. Look into the faith of the church today. Akitazama imani ya kanisa leo. Not even me can go. Hata mi misozi kwenye. Because we don't have that faith. Kwa sababu huna yeye imani. Yes. The power to create. Move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where we must begin to seize. Wakati hapo tunataka tunapaswa kukoma. Great men of God were in, into missionaries. Wale watu wa kuwa Mungu mnapokuwa mkiwa katika Let's quickly shake ourselves. Hebu tujitikise haraka. Revert our faith. Tu te tu chetu angalie imani zetu. So that we enter into the third pool. Sick 